Tonight, a local study is being conducted to learn more about the effects of the virus and what it does to the brain. News 19's Jenna Crezino explains what the study is trying to learn and how recovered patients can help. There's a lot of people who get COVID who are not the same and will not be the same maybe never again for the rest of their life. Dr. Julius Fredrickson, a professor at the University of South Carolina, is conducting a study along with Prisma Health to try and learn more about the effects COVID-19 has on the brain. We are seeing a wide range of symptoms, and some of those symptoms can be very severe, even in very young people. Things like memory loss, not being able to come up with the right words anymore, things that used to be pretty simple, like reading an Excel spreadsheet, now is a major difficulty. Some people have not been able to go back to work because of these long-term effects of COVID. Fredrickson says part of the brain rewiring can be losing your sense of smell. The brain tries to recover. So when it tries to do that, it doesn't really, it's not like you have a formula for how that should happen. And therefore you could get change in symptoms as your body and your brain are, is trying to deal with this new condition. For the study, Fredrickson is looking for people who have tested positive for COVID-19 and have been recovered for close to a month, are at least 20 years old and eligible for an MRI. What is going to be so crucial is to understand the individual differences um, that we cannot understand this unless we get participants in our research. The study includes getting an MRI so researchers can get a closer look at what COVID does to the brain. In Columbia, Jenna Corzina, News 19, WLTX. Also tonight, we should tell you, you can receive compensation for being involved in the study. If you're interested, head to our website, WLTX.com, for more details. 